Hello, and welcome to Sobricks. I'm Adam, and this is Sobricks. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego-related stuff. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Downtown Noodle Shop. It is set number 31131. It has 569 pieces, and I paid $45 for this set. The Downtown Noodle Shop is the main model for this set. Uh, we can also see one of the alternate models is a bike shop, uh, maybe a bike repair place. And then the third alternate model for this sit set is uh, like an arcade or a video game store or something like that. I'm pretty excited to look at this for whatever reason. I sort of am going to be looking this and in my mind and maybe verbally comparing it to the beach camper van set that I recently did a video on. I have not built the alternate model for uh, the alternate models for that beach camper van set yet, but that set was at a similar price point and a pretty similar piece count to this, so I find it fitting to kind of look at the two of them potentially, or at least in my mind, kind of uh, think about them at the same time because I wasn't sure which one I wanted, if I wanted both, which one to do first, whatever, uh, and I ended up getting them both, and I built the beach camper van first, but this has uh, had my eye for a while, so I'm really looking forward to this. So uh, I'm going to put this together, I will speed the video up while I build, and then I will slow it back down to give my thoughts on this downtown noodle shop. So. Until then, enjoy!
Okay, so that is this Lego Creator 3-in-1 Noodle Shop. This was great. Unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit of a difficult one for me to review given my current setup. I'm going to do my best, but kind of like the cozy house, um, just the nature of, of the size of this and the angle of my, my camera right now doesn't lend itself to um, looking really closely at everything here. But like I say, I will do my best and maybe in the future as I continue to grow and change and experiment with my setup and everything else, uh, maybe it's something to revisit. Um, but, you know, my first impression is this is awesome. Uh, this is really, really, really good. And it reminds me in many ways of a modular building. Uh, tons of detail in here small detail minifigure scale detail which is awesome um just how like the build it's not i wouldn't say architectural because it's not part of like the architecture line of of sets but when i what i'm trying to express is like the different kind of stylistic details here um that go between them the colors and and how they they make sort of um it feel like a like a real 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 building and there's so much detail in here that uh that's really wonderful so this set comes with two minifigures i will show those first the first one here we have a chef of some kind presumably for the noodles this is the noodle chef maybe chef coat no printing on the legs or midsection, very basic, no arms. Uh, the back is essentially blank, a little bit up on top there. Um, and it comes with a cleaver, a meat, meat cleaver or a cleaver. It looks rather sharp, uh, very nice. We get some kind of a light beard, the hair is good, uh, and a slightly alternate face there. So we get really happy and sort of happy. Fine. Um, nothing too crazy about the minifigure, but uh, still good. And the other minifigure, this maybe is a patron at the restaurant. I like these minifigure chopsticks here. I, I believe that's what they're supposed to be. I haven't had that part before. This print is a little more detailed with the zipper and the line on the pocket and everything, which is very nice still no printing on the midsection the legs or the arms and the back is again very very simple here and this figure no alternate face just the one face for this one uh, but that's okay so too many figures there the last thing you build very cute this is a dog a brick built dog it's got a little collar a little red collar there some big floppy ears here and it looks like a, I don't know, like a dachshund or, or uh, like a wiener dog kind of, but uh, very cute, very nice. Actually, when I was getting to the end, I started flipping back through the instructions because I was like, wait, where did I miss an arch? And then I was like, oh, it's the puppy. So very, very nice. We can have the puppy hanging around there. The first thing you build is this, this bike uh, powered cart. Now, I believe this is an ice cream cart. Maybe that was obvious to everybody else. There is a sticker here. Uh, we have kind of a, a, a big thing on top. I, for some reason, when I looked at the box, I thought this was going to be like a balloon cart. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's ice cream. So we have the ice cream cone and the different flavors. And all of these elements up there correspond with the one by one or these these one by one round plates down there and then we get kind of what looks like either chocolate and strawberry maybe like coming out of the out of the thing there which is really nice and we get some cones over here very cool a lot of little detail and then yes a a, a sticker there i'm kind of wary about stickers in three in one sets but I'm, I'm excited to see how or if the alternate models use those i think i've only encountered stickers in a three in one maybe one other time so far 
uh, and the piece that it was applied to wasn't used in any of the side builds. So I'm excited to see how some of the ones that are in here are incorporated. Maybe they're not incorporated at all, which I think is a shame, but um, fine. Uh, very fun so this cart is pretty cool uh and uh yeah it's a bike powered bike powered cart there uh very nice good play good display very cool now we can take a look at the noodle shop and i'm going to bring it in close just to give a kind of an overview here so you kind of build this it can fold like the tiny or rather the, the cozy house it can be set up um, in different ways and so this can close all the way and kind of create one kind of contiguous building but I, I really like it as a kind of corner here so that's kind of my my favorite and there's a ton of detail on this thing a ton of detail we get a great little brick built bird great for me some floral elements like I pointed out early kind of these architectural design elements there continuing over here and, and this nice awning and this effect using those parts looks terrific we get kind of like a satellite dish up here it almost looks like a bonsai tree the way the the trunk of this thing is and, and maybe that would fit for the noodle shop the um, architecture kind of style here and how it works with the color is great these kind of lantern lights underneath there if we look into whoops Oh, I'll explain that in a second. If we look into here, we got a couple bowls and some mats to sit on, some uh, bottles for maybe soy sauce or something that looks like sushi to me, and maybe noodles for the bowls there. Uh, another one of the stickers is on this menu, on this sign, so a uh, very nice sticker. Um, reasonably priced sushi, if that's what indeed what that is. It looks like it to me. Cool. There's a couple other stickers in here that are very hard to to see, but they're right there. Just a nice little like flag decoration in there. Um, there we can kind of see them a little better. So those, so a little detailed kind of dining area, and we can see more if I carefully turn this around. Oops, I lost the street light. That's okay. So we can see more of this um, this restaurant thing here. On top of that, we have kind of a living area with looks like a radio and some plants on the windowsill and a neat little light in there, a rug on the carpet. And this tile that's on the wall uh, is a print, this one right here. And that is also in the cozy house, I believe believe or it's in maybe one of the holiday sets i'm actually not sure now that i that i think about it but it could be it could be in one of them so anyway that's a print this is also a print this newspaper and that appears in other sets too and then up here we get another kind of area maybe a a way to get up to the roof here an attic area but also like another plant and then down here we kind of have the kitchen we have like an oven and a stove and a sink, a broom and a, and a wrench there. So tons of internal details. Mini figures can go all over in here. Lots of places to stud them down. Going back to the front, there's a door down here, door up here. Uh, and there's no door down here. This is kind of like a walk-up counter. If everything is closed, these steps would lead right up to the upstairs there, and it would kind of finish off that living space with this little alcove here and finish up this top kind of balcony. And then this door would be the door into the kitchen. And when this is closed like this, the the kitchen where there's the uh, the stove and the um, the sink and everything is now behind the counter there but unfortunately because my my lighting situation isn't the best but uh so you see the kitchen here when it's closed will be right behind the counter of the noodle shop on this uh piece here that is the the corner when it's when it's um built out like this uh, 
it usually has this this street light and sign another sticker there that says creator street very nice and uh appropriate i think so there we go we have that but on this corner piece this is like a vending machine like a soda machine i didn't know what it was at first this is so perfect i can't believe how nicely this came together this little coin slot here the buttons with these open studs where it would dispense awesome 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 great 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 brick belt uh like soda machine vending machine type thing there um and this corner piece can be could be moved conceivably so it's it's uses a technic pin uh well one of the this kind of technic pin and one with the uh, uh a different kind this, this blue one here let me see if i can show these a little better please forgive me for for the the camera problems here so we have one of these which doesn't like lock into one of these holes as much but it, but it keeps it there and then the other one is, is one that would lock it in so this could be um turned around could be repositioned the soda machine uh you you could move these you could move these pins to this other side so the soda machine could go um like on the side here of the uh of the on the side of either the stairs here or on the side of the counter so there's lots of of places for that to go to really like round this out um there was a couple pieces that fell out of here and and i don't know if i did this right or not and actually now that i'm looking at the booklet well we'll have to double check on this so these pieces these kind of great like um tiles uh g-r-a-t-e um the instructions i swear had me not stud those down and they go here's another sticker they go on this signage here which is like a bowl and i think those are supposed to represent the noodles and they do they do a good job of that and then we get these nice golden chopsticks um those noodles if that's what they're supposed to be are not studded onto anything so if i'm handling it the way i am those can fall out if this is is sitting on you know flat uh no issue there but now that i'm looking it appears like uh, and I, I can flip to the page to maybe find this but it appears the 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 cover of the booklet does not have those pieces in that bowl so maybe they were encountering the same kind of problem i was whoa what did i just lose hmm. but let me prove it here in case we missed it and i just want to confirm for myself that i'm not crazy so we have this piece not studs in the middle we do the two angled clips for the chopsticks we put this on just the two studs there and the one on the side then we place those in the middle those aren't studded down and i thought when the chopsticks were to cover them like yeah that'll hold them a little bit in this tile with the sticker like that'll hold them in there pretty well um if you're handling it like i was those fall apart and uh so i think that's a cool detail it's well done and like i say when this is sitting in most normal ways either for play or for display uh it's not going to be an issue to have those fall out of there so this set uh is 500 and 569 pieces two minifigures basic minifigures some cool parts a lot of good good amount of parts some stickers um really cute dog nice side build super unique side build to me and it's a noodle shop and there's a lot of potential here and i think this could fit great in some cities uh, maybe not quite fitting it perfectly with like a, a 
modular building display but potentially and this with the cozy house and and with other stuff you know th there might be a way to set these up to integrate them into something really really special uh i think this is awesome um big big fan and now this was 45 dollars for 569 pieces whereas the beach camper van as i mentioned earlier was 50 dollars for like 554 pieces very similar in piece count um but that had the the vehicle which i quite liked this one has some floral elements the bird the the stickers the lighting the chopsticks hey, everything is cool in here and this is really really nice so um big fan of this i wish i had a a slightly more uh, advanced setup so i could really show more of the detail i feel i i did did my best here and uh, i hope you got a kind of impression of everything that this set has to offer because it has a lot to offer and uh the last thing or you know one of the last things here we can look at the extra pieces there's some quality ones in here Okay, the couple main extra pieces I want to point out. We get an extra one of these flowers. We get an extra one of these flowers, which I don't know if I have, and definitely not in that color. Extra of this floral element. We get an extra of like the lever, the speedometer, uh, print, some transparency. We do get an extra of the chopstick piece so that could be sat in one of the bowls or placed next to the the sushi or something there and we get an extra bowl here as well and uh, I think there's probably a pretty cool little thing I could do with with studying all of this down and, and making something kind of neat with a flower as a as a garnish there and the um, these chopsticks sticking out so some cool pieces and then an extra stud for all the ice cream and um and uh yeah happy about the chopstick and the floral elements so really really good extra pieces i think this set has good value um and i'm the build was really fun pretty interesting kept it kept it different kept it fun not too much repetition in here which i always appreciate and um yeah this was this was really great now like every other three in one this isn't all this set has to offer because we also have the bike shop the bike repair shop here um which looks pretty cool uh and um let me see if i can it looks like this kind of logo signage there is is pretty neat we get some different kind of floral elements some different uh, maybe bird stuff up there and just a full different different use of the pieces very cool and then the other alternate model i believe is like uh like an arcade or a video game and, and this this controller up here it's very cool and these kind of like play buttons and and maybe this is all made and it uses well at least uses one of these sticker pieces to to make uh, look like a, like a arcade game or something so very nice as well and i look forward to doing those but i will cover those in another video or a couple extra videos um yeah this is awesome so i really like this if you like this video consider giving it a like and if you like the other content on my channel consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date on all the lego content i will be doing in the future including when i do the alternate models for this set uh and i will be reviewing those and giving you a look uh, inside of those other builds and uh, i will be doing the same for some other creator three and ones i've recently built um, and I have a lot of other Lego stuff uh, coming up. So look out for that and subscribe if you wish. Um, so until next time, thanks. Bye.